Hey everybody, how's it going? So I just wanted to do a quick video on this manufacturer that actually does seem to be pro right to repair. So a while back, a lot of you asked me about something called the Framework Laptop. And in this video, I talked about it and I edited the title to claims to support right to repair, not support right to repair. There was a pinned comment and I just made a basic ask as to whether or not you'd be able to get a schematic. And they said, I'll get back to you on that, which was somewhat disappointing because they had used right to repair branding on their site and they said that they they were a right to repair friendly a friendly design and as you all know there's a very 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 obvious and clear litmus test I have and I set this line in the sand a long time ago actually it wasn't me it was Mr. Clinton and you can see what Mr. Clinton is saying in the t-shirt it's actually very clear so I, I, I had my doubts now I got to speak with uh, Narav at the company and he actually told me why it was they had concerns about sharing schematics they were not the concerns that I thought there would be I can't tell you what these concerns are because this was a conversation that we held in confidence it really does show me that a lot needs to change throughout the entire industry. I respect and I understand why he had the concerns that he did. I really do. They are real concerns. And I wish I could share them with you. I genuinely do. But I I, I respect his, uh, the, the privacy and the confidence of that conversation. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you this blog post on their website from July 9th over here. At the end of the blog post, it says, to handle the rare situations in which deeper electrical repairs to the motherboard are needed outside the warranty period, we're making schematics and assembly drawings available to repair shops. Repair shops that get framework products and can reach out to our support team to sign a form for access. This philosophy has been frustratingly missing from most of our electronics, most electronics, and we're excited to build a computer that is truly yours to do what you want with. Now, given the reasoning that he gave me, and I, again, I can't share it. I, 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 this wasn't confidence. It does take, uh, in my opinion, some balls to go ahead and do that when every other laptop manufacturer doesn't. So I just wanted to say uh, congratulations to Framework for being the first company to, that I know of in, the, in recent years to do this. And I really do hope that we see more of this going forward. Now all they got to do is put a track point on there and, <laughs> and I'll get one. Uh, I'm stuck using the laptop that have a little nipple over there because I got used to it. I can't, I, I don't know what it is. I, I can't get used to using a trackpad. It's just, a, I love my nipple. But anyway, that's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something and just a company to check out because I, again, I did give them some shit for the responses that I got from someone in this video that I did. I did give them some crap and they, you know, I had a talk with them. Uh, they they thought about it and they said that they're going to make schematics available to repair shops. You know, they, they, they put their money where their mouth is in an industry where nobody does. And I respect that a lot. And I wish them the most success in the world with what it is they're trying to do with this product. I really do hope they succeed. So I'll see you all in the next video.